What's up guys? My name's Nigel XD and welcome to yet another FL Studio tutorial. My god guys, I am just drowning you guys in tutorials. Um this one is going to be a little bit different. Um instead of some normal EDM type of uh you know, dubstep or house or whatever, I'm going to be focusing on something a little different. Now, if you don't know, uh I am working on a movie at the moment um called The Encounter, which is a kind of like a ghost haunting demonic thing movie that takes place in 1986 right so obviously I can't use really you know crazy you know uh, like a soundtrack with like dubstep and you know for the action scenes or whatever um, so I've been working on making the soundtrack myself um, so when I go to, on YouTube or whatever and I look up a tutorial on how to make 80s music you really don't find anything so I'm going to give you the best way, you know, I've taught myself on how to make a 80s sounding song. So this is what we're going to be working towards on getting. Something like this. Oh, if it plays. So that's what we're going to be working with, just a very, um, bassy, oh, my chair is like falling apart, alright, uh, just very, I'm sorry, just a very bassy, um, sounding synth with some high pitch synths in there and a very driving bass drum, uh, or just drums in general, really. Uh, I'm going to show you some techniques and, um, you know, ways to make your song sound cool, and this is obviously ap applicable to, like, everything. Um, so what you're going to want to do, if you're making an 80s song, you don't want to go too fast. You, I'd like to keep it at the 100, so like anything between 100 and 109 is best suited. I'm going to do this project at 100, and um, we're going to actually start with the synth. Um, I believe I've done this. I always start with the synth first. And um, I'm going to be using two VSTs. I'm going to be using Nexus um, for one. And uh, for the bass, and I'll be using um, something called SQ Late. Mm, is that I guess SQ 8L? I don't know. Um, this is a free plugin. I, I don't know who it's from exactly, but uh, just let me know and I'll tell you or something. Um, actually, info about oh oh here we go. It's by um, this guy, Siegfried Coleman. So just go ahead, call him on your cellular phone. Be like, hey. Let me get some SQ8L up in this bitch. Anyway, so this is a very interesting synth. It's um, it has uh, how many banks? Uh, a lot. It has too many. I don't know. It ha probably has like 128. But um, so these are all nice presets um to uh you know have a nice 80s sounding synth. As you can see, it sounds very. Uh, but for this one, we're going to be focus on, focusing on um, the first one, which is uh, brassy, which sounds like, which uh, it gives off a really, you know, nice, warm feeling. And so we're going to start on D3, and we're just going to keep the constant bass line going. It actually might be too slow. Let me see. Switching the step over to one half and doubling it. There you go. So that's what we got so far. Just like a driving. I okay. Hold on. Before I go any further, I just had coffee a few hours ago, and now I'm feeling the effects. I have to freaking pee so bad. Um, so you're gonna want to put that on its own effects channel by clicking on the little node, clicking the down arrow, and hitting a sign free mix track, or just hitting Control L, whichever works for you. And then to add another um, bass sound, we're going to insert, right click and insert a Nexus, and we're going to go to, um, I don't know exactly where it is, but if it, there's a search down here, if you just type in 80s, 
you're gonna get this uh, BR Italio 80s D. It's gonna sound like that. And what you're gonna wanna do is open your keyboard up. Uh, to, to see the other notes in keyboard mode or whatever the piano roll, uh, just hit Alt and then V. Uh, hold Alt and then hit V, and then you can see the notes. So. I'm just gonna do this like that. Do I want to tell? Uh, maybe not. Um, no. That's better. Okay, so I lied. It's AR Italio, Italio 80s B. Which is, which is an arpeggio, but we're not going to make it arpeggio. And right off the bat, I'm going to add a, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, disgusting, gross beat. Ew. Who wants a gross beat, right? Am I right? And then um, just load up the, the sidechain preset and uh, tweak the volume. So if we have if we add kicks to it, it's gonna sound like these. Um, so yeah, so that is the bass line already. We can already like slap that on the beginning, like so. Boom! Awesome job. Good job, Nigel. And um, we're gonna work on this a little bit later, but I really now next step I want to focus is on the drums. So. Go into your kick directory, and if you have Vengeance Essential House Volume 2, um, you're going to have a kick section, and you're going to see 70s and 80s kicks. This is what I use, but honestly, uh, as long as... I'm going to show you a trick, alright? So, I'm going to grab a kick. I'm going to grab another kick. Surprisingly, those are the two good ones. And uh, we're just going to do a... F uh, we're going to fill every four. And um, make sure the second kick is on... FX channel 1, same with the uh, original kick. And then uh, we're just going to go in here and we're going to EQ it already. Um, and But watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to EQ it, bump the bass up just a little bit, and then drop the mids and the highs down just a teeny tiny bit. Just kind of get this nice wave going. And then um, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a reverb. Now, 80s songs have very powerful kicks, you know? Not as powerful as that, but um, what we're going to do is, I like the sweet spot, because if you have too much, it's going to sound ridiculous. Like, ooh, what the hell is that? So I'm going to go down to actually reverb 10. No, wait, excuse me, I'm burping. Um, that way it's a little more subtle, but not so subtle where you don't really hear it. Because like other tracks like Dubstep or um, House, you want to put the reverb down to like maybe 4 or 5. Um, where it's subtle and you don't really notice it, but for, you know, 80s shit, you, oh god, I cursed again. 80s music, um, you're gonna wanna, you know, keep it a little reverby. And you know what, you might wanna turn up that sidechain just a little bit more. Awesome. So now, that is pretty much the intro. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna filter, um, the synth out. You know what? I'm gonna EQ with that. Alright, so how I EQ this, I didn't want there to be too much bass because I want the uh, kick itself to drive the bass, so I kind of ramped it up s somewhat slowly. And then I dropped the mids down, and then bumped it back up, and dropped it down, and then I bumped it up, th bumped up the highs again. Um, that way it's just a little more, uh, I guess. I don't, you know, it's like a little more, uh, I don't know, it sounds better. <laughs> Just leave it at that. No more questions. Anyway, um, we're going to hit the down arrow on a uh, effects channel or um, this thing. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hit Fruity Filter. And we're going to do, we're going to put the high pass all the way down and the, leave the low pass up, but move the cutoff frequency. Not all the way off, but basically off, like right what is this like uh two little thing of bobbers there and then we're just gonna create automation clip I, wow i messed up wait oh wait a minute i didn't mess up i didn't put this on effect shot five see how crazy i am i'm losing my mind where is nexus sorry just, that just bothers me there you go now you have like a nice um nice bassy intro sound thing
Sounds a little boring, but um, we're actually going to bump this up to maybe 108. That's a little better. Um, if you want to make it sound even cooler, you can actually slap a flanger on it. Um, right click on these presets and just go to, um, oh man, which one was it? Moving distortion? No. Uh, distal chord. Yeah. That way the bass kind of has more of a fatter sound to it. Um, so yeah. So, it still doesn't sound too right. We're, we actually need to EQ the, um, not EQ, we need to filter in the, um, the kicks. So, we're just going to do the same exact thing. We're going to start it there, create automation clip, and then just fade it back in to about here. That's awesome. So, around, about right here, I want the kicks to end and, um... I'm going to add like a second kick here, like these. Wait, that was stupid. Like these, I mean. Hold on. Oh, no. What's going on here? Like that. And then right here, I'm going to have a by the, the um sorry if that was loud i i don't know what i was trying to do there um i was trying to imitate a snare um so grab the fattest damn snare you have that's not that that's that. we're gonna use this snare and we're gonna layer it with something not as fat but that still has a lot of you know punch power and we're just gonna actually Put it here in the middle, and this is on channel effect, effect channel four. So we're gonna put the second snare and effects channel four, and then we're gonna EQ it. Oh, not invert it. We're gonna EQ it. Whoopsies. Up, oh, stop. So six needs to go down. Seven needs to go up. Four needs to go down. Five needs to go up. Two needs to go down. One needs to go. Up. Always, I always put one down all the way. I don't know. It's just been a habit of mine. Oh, to make, um, you can make these, you can change, like, how much these affect by using your scroll wheel on your mouse. If you have a laptop, keep, if you're using a laptop, uh, I have no idea how to do this, so, uh, you'd probably have, like, some type of scroll wheel. Just buy a mouse, it's better for you. There you go. So that way, it's not, there's not so much bass. And then we're just going to add a humongous reverb to this. More than that. Maybe 45. Yeah. Um, we're going to add a reverb to it, and then we're going to drop it down. We're going to create an automation clip. So watch what I'm going to do. Oh, what is that? Pattern 3. We're going to paint pattern 3 in right on this middle line right here. And then once it hits, we're going to actually drop the... um. Oh, no. Copy value. Paste value. What am I doing? And then we're, sh we're just going to actually drop the reverb down to like... 11%. Even that might be too much, actually. So let's just copy. Zoink. Paste. And we're just going to move this over. I should have done that. Paste now. And so the point of this is so that there's like a nice, you know, big ass intro. Uh, I believe it's like that. Oh, what's that? Did I put it on the same? Oh, I'm an idiot. I put it on the same. That could work. Just gonna drop this down and we're gonna copy that again. Yeah, alright, so, um, as you can see. I feel like that kick's coming in too, too late. It's gonna bother me. She's a maniac, maniac. Oh, it's even worse. Alright, we'll just keep it there for now. Um, and then we're just gonna put the actual drum beat right there. So let's do that. 
How the drum beat? I forget how the freaking drum beat went. Yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah. So this is gonna this is sounding a little bit repetitive, but at this point we're gonna start adding the actual synths for the lead. Um, now, synths synths are it's tricky. Um, you can, like I said, you can use a combination of S, uh, whatever this is, and uh, you could probably just use the same one. But obviously, add a higher um, note thing. saying uh, let's just do this for now uh, well yeah you can do an arpeggio I've been doing a lot of arpeggios lately and I gotta stop it or else I'm gonna just I don't know um, but we're just gonna I'm gonna show you another thing to do um, go back to Nexus or make actually make a new Nexus go to search the 80s thing blah, 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 and then go to um, BR Italian 80s D we used that before remember and then we're actually gonna I'm actually going to show you how to um, kind of do it 80s style, you know, with a lot of long notes and stuff. So we got to figure out uh, how what the notes are. So it's definitely D. I have no idea what it's going to sound like. It sounds like Pokemon. Yeah, that's definitely Pokemon. There you go. You want to play Pokemon on the piano? That's that. That's how you do it. Um, D. Yeah. Okay. So that's the start. Oh no! I undid it. My bad. I'm saying my bad to FL Studio. Wow. All right. Yeah, so we're gonna actually hold this note down. And we're gonna probably go to. I wanna go A, but I think it's A too high. A sounding a little too high, but let's see what we can do about it. So. And then. Uh, oh my god, I don't know how to explain this. Hold on. Okay, basically what I'm do basically I'm just holding down uh, since um, to make them sound pretty sweet sounding. Uh, by the way, to move notes down like that, just hold shift and then press up or down on the direction pad, and to move them by octave, hold down control and do the same thing so with the direction pad. And then. Uh, <laughs> We're getting somewhere. I'm feeling a little. Let's do that. Yes, I'm liking this so far. Um. Da -da -da, da -da -da. When it comes in handy to actually know like your notes and everything, like what's relative to each note. Like I said, another tutorial. If you don't know a certain what a certain note like belongs to, um, just go to your pitcher, and then yeah, you can just change it from minor to major, and then, like F key, and you can see all the notes that uh, are like you know are homies with that other note. So far, so good. This is sounding pretty good. I'm actually surprised that I can't with the melody this quick because it usually takes me a while to do it. Oh, it's embarrassing, but you know. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. I don't know exactly where I'm going with this, so let's see.
That'll do. Pig, that'll do. Props if you ever see that movie before. Okay, so let's see. We got going down to E. I believe the last note needs to be C, so what we're going to do is that. Okay. Hold it up to there. And, um. Hopefully, this sounds alright. That bothers me so much. Oh. Okay, so we have this. We just don't have this. This is there's something wrong here. I don't know. Let me think. Begin. Oh, not from the beginning. Beginning from here. That just sounds like crap. Hold on, let me fix this freaking fill. Oh my god. pretty perfect now as you can tell I'm not really um, aligned to a grid like usually you start notes like right here at the beginning but since I'm doing I'm starting it like with this like little intro um, you're gonna have to adjust so what we're gonna do is we're actually it's already painted here but I'm just gonna cut it like that and cut it like that and then we're just gonna copy it again and just layer it over like that just so everything fits you know you got to keep it neat and everything um, so you can impress your lady friends with your mad FL Studio skills. Look at the way I play the keyboard. Stuff like that, you know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, um, that is basically the main uh, brass synth that you'll usually get. Um, other good 80s synths to use. Um, if you have native. Oh, that's FPC. Do not want that. Oh, God, here we go. Get out of my life. If you have FM8, great, great, great. Um, by it's by native instrument people made massive. It's a great VST to use if you want eighties type sounding stuff. So let's see. Maybe not that. Hold on. I used uh, this one. I don't know why I don't feel like freaking mixing it or whatever but um you could do that you could layer another nexus on top or you can go to the handy dandy SQ8L I'm just gonna call it escalate because that's what it looks like to me and we're actually gonna go use brassy again <laughs> Now, here's the beauty with um, 80s music. If you just copy and paste these over here, we can actually um, play around with the uh, note progression. So, I messed up that one. Drop it down. Awesome. That sounds pretty sweet. And uh, we're just gonna actually slap, slap, slap that freaking bitch on this part right here, and let's see what we get. <laughs> Awesome, so that's awesome. I, wow, that was a repeat of words. Awesome, now that's awesome. I'm gonna go jump off a bridge after this tutorial. Okay, um, 
Right, so, um, off-topic question for you guys. If you've been watching this far, uh, how long? It's been 25 minutes. All right, great. If you've been watching this long, I have a question for you guys. Is it possible at all, all right, to get drunk and then rollerblade? Now, I was talking to a friend about this today, um, and she said she doesn't know, and I don't know because I've never done it before. So I just want to know if anyone out there has, a, has had experience rollerblading while drunk. Let me know, and um, I'll pass on to my friend, and uh, we'll thank you. Awesome. So, what do we have so far? We have the synth, and we have we have two synths, we have two basses, and we have the drums and the snares. At this point, you'd be really be done. Um, just keep changing up. I mean, 80s music is kind of really repetitive unless you have someone singing over it, like Night Call by Kavinsky, if you ever seen the movie Drive. Um, but what we can do, actually, is we're going to add another synth over it. It's another Nexus. I know. I don't like using Nexus. <laughs> But I mean, it's it. They have really good AC. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to dance leads, and you're gonna scroll all the way down, and you're gonna hit theme, in it one, cause you in it. No, I lied. Theme in it two, cause you in it again. And then um, we're gonna copy a note. Actually, we're gonna copy these. this one from Escalate, the one we changed up a little bit, and we're gonna just paste that in there. And then this is what it sounds like. It has a nice like vibrato thing going on. Oh yeah. Okay. So the problem with this theme is that if you, it's it's it slides. So unless you change it in net, a Nexus, almost at Netflix, um, you're gonna get a bunch of problems. But this does open up possibilities, which I'll show you in a minute. So I mean, it sounds awesome. As far as like, it sounds so silky smooth. <laughs> possibilities with using the slide in this one so you have d7 right and so I'm pretty sure we hit a at one point so d7 is relative to a a little bit so if I were to play this look how it sounds it's gonna sound a little bit weird what you want to do really to get that nice nice smooth sound switch it to half step and then just bump it over sorry just bump it over one and then um I get that, and then uh, a C's relative to I don't know F, I guess. Actually, hold on. I have an idea. I don't know if that will work, let's see. Works pretty well. I, I think it's doing that slide a little too late. Might have to slap it over to six, one six beat. And uh, not do anything because that's the wrong one. We're going to have to actually do none. Yeah, boy. Now, the problem with that is that this sound is not really even. So, we're going to have to do the same thing with uh, what we did before with every single chord. And then uh, B. B. Oh, this is so tedious. All right, um, did I skip a gap? Uh, I should skip a gap. Rap trap. Diggy dap. Crap map. Fizz app. All right, D. I mean, C goes to G. And there we go. At this point, oh. and then we're going to drop it down to. 
do B. That sounds awesome. So now we have this kind of like high pitched synth going on. I don't really know if I really feel these notes at the bottom. Let's see what happens if we delete them and just extend these. Like so. Oh no, not this problem again. Oh no. Alright. FL Studio has this fucking. Oh, I cursed again. FL Studio has this per problem with if I just like select notes like that, it's they turn purple and then I can't like place notes on top. I have to like go over here and then like, over. I don't know how to fix it. If anyone knows how to fix it, let me know. It's the most annoying thing in the world. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. Um, so we're just, since we're not doing the intro notes again anymore, um, we're just gonna slide that over to the actual start and then just, you know, actually start it where it's supposed to be. Start started that, you know, English, the English language. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's basically it. Last step is to really sidechain the entire freaking thing. So slap, uh, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna slap this on the same uh, FX channel as um, everything, all the main synths and stuff. Uh, I don't suggest doing this. I suggest putting them in, all in this separate. I, I can't talk. Wow, all in their separate um, channel here because. Uh, the more you have, the more you want to be creative with your sound. Oh no, I did the wrong one. Check out that echo. Nice. Alright, we're going to actually assign this to its own. And everything else. This is a bass. No, it's not. So this is going to go to 6. Six. Alright, awesome. You might also want to try renaming some of these and just to clear things up. So we're going to EQ it. We EQ'd it and then we're going to add, we're going to add uh, a disgusting gross beat. Ew. Something sounds off, but that's why you shouldn't really put it all in the same channel. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, mix it properly and just go to comp. What I really do is lower the threshold down up until like probably right there and then bump the ratio down so it just almost sits at the thing on the jigger. <laughs> And then, if you want, you could just add a. F you could add a crazy wild flanger on everything. Don't do that. That's, you don't want to do that. Uh, oh yeah, and um, to get okay, so 80s music. This is like the last. We're probably like at two hours long already. Oh my god. All right, <laughs> so. Um, 80s music has this um, hissing to it, and that's because of the way they recorded stuff back then with, you know, the actual 8-tracks and everything. I, ha I haven't really been able to cr recreate the 8-track eight, um, eight thing. I, I downloaded something called Isotope Vinyl, which is supposed to um, kind of m emulate, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, 50s, 40s sounding, um, like on a vinyl. But I open it, and uh, yeah, there's a problem, and I don't know what's going on. I get confused and I want to throw my computer out the wall. So what I do is I get Bitcrusher open. Bitcrusher is free, just like Escalate. 
And what I do is I use I go to the bit depth and I go to eight bits. Now, I'm going to eight bits because um, Nintendo. So you're gonna get this like you hear that crunching in the background. Um, this is on the master channel. You could you could depends on what you want, and then you can just distort it from there. Like. I don't really recommend distorting it actually. Um, just bit depth at 80, maybe even like 16, because you know, Nintendo. You won't get it's a, it's a lot subtler. Um, we have 16, but at 8, it's a lot more, you know, in your face bass. No, no, that's not it. In your face distortion. You just hear that hissing in the background. But if you have the entire song playing, I mean, it's gonna be constant. amazing and um with um you know doing this you, you kind of open up all like different types of situations um as far as you know um i lost my train of thought as far as like music goes i have to figure out what i'm trying to show you here so this is a song i actually did last night for my movie and um what i did was i have Edderall orchestra orchestral Orchestra, whatever, and uh, it comes with a bunch of nice sounds. Like you got those tim timpanis going, and you have not that you have. As you can hear, I have the um, what do you call it? The uh, distortion going on. And then uh, this one is, is it? Yeah. Awesome. So like this is a nice thing I I made um. I don't know if you guys ever saw the movie Star, Star Trek. Uh, Scarface. Um, this is kind of similar. I kind of base it off that. Oh, no. Um, that's, you know, there's, it opens up a bunch of potential. Um, if you're interested, go to soundcloud.com slash the encounter music. That's like my 80s um, page. I don't, I keep it kind of separate from um, my main page. But if you like what you hear, go ahead, follow. Don't matter. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's for the tutorial. Um, I hope this was a help somewhat. Um, it's just like at least a starting point. Oops. At least a starting point. What is going on? I'm hitting three, but. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, yeah, it's a start for like 80s production. This really isn't really that many tutorials, which you know saddens me, but you know whatever. And um, uh, if you guys liked what you see, um, please you know give a like or subscribe or whatever. You don't have to, but um, you know helps. And um, wow, I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys later. But before I go, um, I do want to mention that um, you can follow me on Twitter. Check this out. Whoa, whoa, Twitter, right? Follow me on Twitter. I don't use Facebook anymore, so I really don't update that ever anymore. Um, and yeah, if you're, uh, like I said, I'm going to be a little slow um, because I am working on a movie. And if you guys want to, you know, help out, I am, uh, we're about to start doing a Kickstarter donation thing. Uh, we need about $5,000 to shoot this thing. Uh, but, you know, it's such a good movie. Like, it's awesome. So, I mean, I'll give more details once we get the Kickstarter going up. But if you guys are interested in helping out, you know, feel free. I mean, I don't know if you guys know how Kickstarter works. Like, you donate, like, five bucks, and I send you, like, a DVD or something. So, um, you know, I'll have everything set up. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys for watching. My name is Nigel XD. Add me on Steam. Like I said, whoa, that's Jack Sparrow. I don't know who that is. Add me on Steam, like I said before. Right here, playing Grand Theft Auto. You know it, Grand Theft Auto.
<laughs> and, um, yeah, um, you know, we could probably play Portal or something. And, um, thank you guys for watching. And, oh, you know what? Actually, oh my god, I'm like wasting so much time. I'm sorry, guys. What are we? Oh, we're at 40 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to see something. Uh,. Uh oh, <laughs> seven bucks for this game. All right, guys, I was born August twenty sixth, guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Angel of Darkness. Never play this game. Don't even. Oh my god, I feel disgusted on this page. Get me away. Get me away, Steam. Yeah. So I'll see you guys later. My name's Angel XT. I hope this was, hope this was an enjoyable tutorial. And uh, there's a there's a dubstep one coming soon. Oh, I didn't say that. Who said that? See you guys later. Bye.